on vessel Freedom, outbound Lake Worth Inlet to Bahamas 2017. On vessel Freedom, stand by on channel 9, 13, 16. Out after a one month delay in Boston and for Christmas, I finally untied the lines at 5 p.m. on January 3rd. The sky will be dark shortly with only a waxen crescent moon to keep company. This blank, black canvas with millions of stars is what makes night sailing so special. Most people will never understand what it is like to experience the sound of the wind in the sails, the boat hull slicing through the seas, knowing you are truly alone on the endless ocean. It is you against the sea. The sun set with only a trail of light behind freedom. West Palm Beach was now in the distance. Once freedom found her groove, I grilled a nice, big, juicy steak. The next day, the wind died, and I detoured for Port Lucaya. And the dummy forgot to take the drain plug out of the dinghy. I met a friend from Facebook and went to bed, disappointed I never made it to the Berry Islands. Yeah, you guys know how I love technology. So I just wanted to quickly show you uh, my route to get across the Gulf Stream. Here is West Palm Beach, Lake Worth Inlet. And I was really trying to get down here, which would have been the Berry Islands. It would have been off the uh, chart book. But this is actually how you sail. You come out, you hit the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream takes you north. Keep going north and finally you kick out, but you end up almost near Memory Rock uh, if you don't put your engines on. So I had a great sail, came down, past West End. This is West End. This is a place you can check in. It's the nearest point to the United States on Grand Bahama. I kept coming down, so I was on a good run, really good run down to the Berry Islands, and I would have had probably another 12 hours to go. But what happened was the wind just died. But the sea state was the same. So, you know, you don't mind having some swells as long as you're moving through the swells and uh, making progress. But I was just going up and down, up and down, and really making no progress. So uh, I decided to come back about eight miles into Lakaya. And that's where I am today, waiting out another front, and then I'll head over to the Berry Islands. So, that was my route. Sometimes John doesn't make sense. Well, actually, John usually doesn't make sense. The winds were starting to clock from the southeast up to the north over the next few days, so I just decided to forget going to the Berry Islands. So I headed back up north and over the Bahama Bank to the Abacos. With the winds lightening up, but in a great direction, I rounded Memory Rock and I headed to Mangrove Key. With the light winds, I decided to throw the engines on and get there so I could throw the hook, have a quick meal, and go to bed. The next morning, I got up early, had a few cups of coffee, and set sail for Great Sail Key. The blue, crystal clear water of the Little Bahama Bank welcomed me. I did some window polishing and pulled out the drone while slowly underway 
with less than eight knots of wind. arrived at Great Sail Key as the sun was setting. I went to bed and got up early the next day to play with my new toy, the drone. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Is my route to the Abacos? Just follow the nut. I departed Port Lacaya, went up to Freeport, passed West End, sailed up to Memory Rock, banged a hard right, and went to Mangrove Key and then set sail to Great Sail Key. So to complete this part of the journey, I weighed anchor at Great Sail Key. I sailed over and stayed at Powell Key. Sailed down to Manjack Key, or Nunjack Key. Went down to Baker's Bay, and then sailed over to Treasure Key, and that's where I am today. And welcome aboard First Mate Abby, named after the Abacos. And she's got about an 85% hit rate on the target. <laughs> 